Let's make soup. Should we follow a recipe or make our own? Let's decide what soup recipe to make. Should we make radish and carrot soup or carrot and potato soup? Yum! I love that soup. Let's visit the Shady Garden and pick some vegetables. The Shady Garden is cool because the trees block the sun's light and it gets some rain, but not a lot. If you want to check what you need for a recipe, use this. Drag up to pick vegetables that grow underground. Now drop it into the vegetable basket. Use the arrow buttons to see other vegetables in the garden. Potato. Radish. That's all the vegetables we need for our recipe. Let's go to the kitchen and make soup. Our vegetables are a little dirty. Let's wash them. Drag a vegetable under the running water to wash it. Now put the clean vegetable on the other side. He says that we should chop the vegetables into smaller pieces before we cook them. Click on the vegetable to chop it. Keep going until it's all chopped up. Let's take a closer look at this vegetable. Pick up the magnifying glass and move it over the vegetable to get a closer look. Press this button when you are done. Some vegetables need to be peeled before we can eat them to take off the rough skins. Remember, sharp tools should only be used by grown-ups. Look, a compost bin. Drag the vegetable waste into the compost bin. This is where we should put all the food parts we aren't using in our soup. It's time to cook. Put your vegetables into the soup pot to cook them. Now give the soup a stir. and carrot soup. Mmm, <sighs> this is yummy. When you are done picking vegetables, press this button. Wow, look at all the vegetables we've picked. Use the arrow buttons to see all the vegetables you picked. Choose three vegetables and drag them into the basket. One. Choose two more vegetables for your soup. Two, choose one more vegetable for your soup. Three. Vegetable plants grow outside in the soil. 
That's why we need to wash them. The vegetables that grow underground have the most dirt on them. Washing vegetables is important. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. Mushrooms are interesting because they grow in cool, dark places. Mushrooms have no leaves, roots. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. It's time to cook. We made mushroom soup. This tastes really fresh. All the sun and rain from the farm means the vegetables grow big and healthy. Some of the veg this vegetable grows above ground and has seeds on the inside. The plant can grow lots of little vegetables or one big one. I wonder if we can make soup using only root vegetables that grow underground. Vegetable plants grow outside in the soil. That's why we need to wash them. The vegetables that grow underground have the most dirt on them. Washing vegetables is important because we wash up things we don't want to eat, like dirt. Some vegetables have a tough outer skin that is not easy to eat. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. Pumpkins grow on top of the ground. Look at all those seeds. The seeds are good to roast and eat too. Other vegetables have leaves, pods, or stems. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. Next time you pick a vegetable, the seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. When the waste breaks down into compost, it can be used as food for growing plants. It's time to cook. We made Halloween soup. <sighs> Delicious. Soup's up. <laughs> 